Hello there, senior high school students, and welcome to our new lesson. This video is for senior high school general mathematics for grade 11. Gentle reminders. Do not forget your paper and pen for your solutions later on. And you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. And if you want to learn more about general mathematics, then do not forget to subscribe. For this video presentation, we are going to have module 1 of quarter 1 of the subject general mathematics for grade 11. The topic is real life functions. Currently, we are now in lesson 3.3 under the operations on functions. Specifically, that is multiplication of functions. What you need to know. At the end of the session, you are going to follow the steps in multiplying functions and multiply functions. What's in? Let's have a very brief review or a run-through on the key points on how to properly multiply integers. So let's start. For example, positive 2 multiplied to a positive 9. Here, we are using the multiplication dot to emphasize that we are multiplying the two integers. Another way of writing that could be this. Positive 2 in close in a quantity multiplied to the quantity of 9. So that means we are still multiplying with the presence of the parentheses. Here, in this example, we are multiplying like signs. We are multiplying a positive to another positive integers. So the result will be a positive integer, that is positive 18. How about still like signs, but this time both are negative integers? Like this one. We have negative 2 multiplied to another negative integer that is a negative 9. So the answer for this will be, take note that both integers are having the same sign. That's a negative sign. So they have like signs. So the answer for this is a positive 18 so still it's a positive integer so take note when you multiply integers having the like signs like this both are negative or in the previous example both are positive the result is always a positive integer keep that in mind how about when we are multiplying to another category, this time unlike signs. So in here, in our example, we have positive integer multiplied to a negative integer. So we have positive 2 multiplied to negative 9. So what would be the answer for this? So since they're having unlike signs, the result will now be a negative 18. So when you multiply unlike signs, the answer will be a negative integer. So that's it. That's the review for the like signs and unlike signs. So if they have like signs, the result is a positive. Unlike signs, the result is a negative, like this one. So it's your turn. Let's assess your understanding. Answer this one and find the product. Inside the red box, you'll see there all the choices. So I'll give you time. You may pause this video. All right. So let's show the answer. The answers are as follows. So here we have a negative integer multiplied to a positive so the result is a negative integer same with the last one that is a positive multiplied to a negative so for the second example second item here we have negative both are negative so like signs there therefore the result is a positive same with the third item that will be both are positive so the answer is a positive so we have negative 40 positive 40 positive 28 and a negative 28 if you find that easy then very good so let's now proceed to the main highlight of this session what's new how to multiply functions 
To multiply functions like the given f of x and g of x, we will be using these notations. f of x times g of x. Or we could also express it in this term. We have f times g of x. So let's have this one. What is it? Let's find the product of f of x and g of x. Again, we are looking for f times g of x. If your f of x is 3x and your g of x is 4 minus 5x. So let's find the product. To do that, we are going to follow these steps. Step 1. Multiply, expressing in this form. f times g of x. Again, that's f times g of x is equal to 3x multiplied to the quantity of 4 minus 5x. Here, 3x is our f of x and 4 minus 5x is the g of x. Second step, arrange. We are still going to arrange each of the polynomials in decreasing order of its degree. So we are going to arrange that again in the order of its degree. That's in the decreasing order. So we are going to interchange 4 and negative 5x. So it will look like this. That will now become negative 5x plus 4. I hope you're following. Using that, from there, we are going to use distributive property of equality. Again, we will be using distributive property. We are going to multiply 3x to all the elements in our binomial. So here, we have a monomial multiplied to a binomial. So again, what we are going to do is we will be distributing the monomial to each term in our binomial. So we have here an arrow. So 3x will be multiplied to negative 5x and 3x will be multiplied to the second element or second term in the binomial, which is a positive 4. You will see that here. So you have 3x multiplied to negative 5x plus 3x multiplied to 4. Okay, next step. We are going to get the product. So we will multiply this. So the result of that is a negative 15 since we have here unlike terms for the numerical coefficient. x multiplied to x will give us an x squared. Okay, next is we have here copy plus, then 3 times 4 will give us a 12, and we will copy here the variable x. So that will be 12x. Now here, you need to identify if there are terms having the same variable or if we have like terms, but we don't have it here. So that means our next step is we will remove the parentheses and that will lead us to the answer of negative 15x squared plus 12x. Were you able to get it? Hopefully that's a yes. If not, do not worry. You can always go back to that portion of this video for clarification purposes. So let's continue now. How about this? Try this one. If your given is f of x is equal to 4x and g of x is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 5, find f times g of x. You may pause this video and take your time in answering. So let's compare our answers. Look at this. This is the solution. The final answer is... 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 20x. How did we come up with that? Follow my laser pointer. So I have here the f of x, which is a monomial, and our g of x, which is a trinomial. So in this step, we are going to distribute. We are going to use the distributive property. So that means we are going to distribute our monomial to all the terms in our trinomial or any polynomial. So for this one, allow me to annotate. I'll be distributing 4x to all the terms in the trinomial, right? So that means I will multiply 4x to 2x squared like this. And then after that, I will multiply it to the middle term like this. And multiply 4x to the last term in my trinomial like this. So we have there the pair. Now next is, we have here this one. 
4x multiplied to 2x squared. Then we have at the middle term, we have 4x multiplied to negative x. And we have 4x multiplied to 5. Were you able to follow? So 4x times 2x squared will multiply the numerical coefficient first. So we have 4 times 2 will give us an 8. So the answer for that is 8. Like that. And we have x multiplied to x squared will give us an x cubed. So that's why we have here 8x cubed. Now in the middle term, we have 4 multiplied to negative 1. So that will give us a negative 4. So 4 and negative 1, again, the product of that is negative 4. Based on our review for the multiplication of integers, they are having unlike signs. Next is we have the variables x multiplied to x will give us an x squared. So we have negative 4x squared. And in the last pair, we have 4x multiplied to 5. So 4 and 5 will give us a product of 20. Then we have a variable x. We'll copy that. So the answer is 20x. So from there, we are going to check if we have terms having the same variable, having the same degree or like terms. But in this case, we don't have any other like terms. So we will proceed to the next step. We are going to remove the parentheses and we'll, that will lead us to the final answer 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 20x if you're curious why is it minus 4x squared instead of plus negative 4x squared then i'll erase first since we have here positive and negative if you're going to multiply that that will lead us to a negative integer right so that's why our answer here is negative 4x squared. So the final answer is a positive 8x cubed minus 4x squared. Then we have plus 20x. Okay, so that would be our answer for this one. Hopefully you've got it right. Let's try another item. How about this one? If your f of x is given 3x minus 2 and the other one, which is our g of x, is equal to 3 minus 5x, find f times g of x. You may pause this video and take your time in answering. Remember, take it slow but surely. Go ahead. Pause the video. Are you ready? Let's reveal the answer. Here, I'll be showing it step by step. We have this. Why is it like this? Now, in the first line, we have your 3 minus 5x for our g of x. And we interchange the terms because we are going to follow it according to the decreasing order of its degree. That's why we have negative 5x plus 3. Now, look at our given. F of x is a binomial and our g of x is also a binomial. So we are multiplying two binomials here. Recall your grade 8 mathematics. You can use FOIL method to solve for this. Or we can use the steps that I'll be showing the next part. So follow this. After that, we will have this. So I will annotate to guide you. So here, our first term in the first binomial for the f of x is 3x, right? We multiply that or distribute that to negative 5x. That's why we have here 3x times negative 5x. Then same element or same term, 3x, multiply it to the next term, that's 3. So we have 3x times positive 3 right here, okay? And then, we are left with negative 2. So, we are still going to distribute that. I'll be using a different color. So, negative 2 multiplied to negative 5. So, we have now negative 2 and negative 5 right here. And the last one here is negative 2 times positive 3. And that would be this. Were you able to follow? So, right after that, we are going to multiply the terms. So, for example, we have 3 times negative 5. So, the result will now be this one. Allow me to erase. Proceed to the next one. Right there. So, the answer would be this. Again, I'll annotate. 
So here, we have negative 15 because that is the product of 3 and negative 5. And we have x multiplied to x will give us an x squared. And then in the middle term, we have 3 that's positive multiplied to a positive will give us a positive 9. So there's no other variable here except this x will copy that. And then on the third term, we have negative 2 multiplied to negative 5. We are referring to its numerical coefficients. So we have negative 2 times negative 5 will give us a positive 10. And we copied x. Negative 2 and positive 3, we have your constants. We have unlike sign. One is negative, the other is positive. So the answer is a negative 6. So that's why we come up with that. We are going to check if we have terms that are having the same variable with the same degree. So let's check if we have like terms. We have negative 15 x squared. We don't have any other terms having x squared. So we will copy that. In our second and third term, we have variables x. So we have 9x and 10x. These terms are like terms. So we are going to combine these two terms. So a 9 plus 10 will give us a positive 19. Then we'll copy x. We'll have 19x. Then we'll copy negative 6. So let's reveal the final answer. We have negative 15x squared plus 19x minus 6. Do we have the same answer? If that's a yes, then let me know in the comment section below. Let's continue. What's more? I prepared a five-item assessment for me to check your learning for this session about multiplication of functions. So we have here the directions. Allow me to read. Find f times g of x using the two functions given in each number. So we have here five items. You may pause this video, take your time in answering. So if you are confused on a specific part of this activity, then you can always revisit the portion of the video that would show the explanation or that would reveal the solution of the multiplication of functions. So go ahead, pause the video. You can have a screenshot and answer it later on. If you're using the same module, then do not forget to submit your answers to your mathematics teacher on your agreed date and time. What you need to remember. The multiplication of functions can be written in this form. And the multiplication methods that was introduced in this lesson are as follows. A monomial multiplied to a binomial. A monomial multiplied to a trinomial. And we have two binomials and that ends our lesson 3.3 for the multiplication of functions so great job for today keep it up and if you want to have more contents or lessons about general mathematics do not forget to subscribe i'm expecting you in the next lesson see you